This is my first time walking through a Christmas market and it is so adorable. everyone it is currently 3 15 a.m we got luna here who is ready to play as well at 3 20 in the morning she always gets up with me even in the middle of the night and look at this luna you're such a little baby aren't you are you camera shy now no <laughs> i am ready for work now it is 4 12. It is 4 12 a.m. So I need to leave here in the next few minutes. Today is the start of a three-day trip We are flying from Dallas to DC and then DC to Chicago And I'm really excited to have a long layover in Chicago because I'll actually get to go out and explore the city Which I haven't been able to do yet I just got to the airport and signed in for my trip. I always wonder while well, I'm driving here so early in the morning why other people are up and driving so early in the morning as well. Like, are they heading to work? Do they work really odd hours? Do they just get off a graveyard shift? Do any of you guys work odd hours or work overnight? I love a good empty airport in the morning. That is one really nice thing about these super early sign-ins. Although, I am so mad at myself. I forgot my password to my tablet, my work tablet, and now I have to head to our operations center and get a new one because because I ended up locking myself out of mine and it like completely shut down. I just tripped. And we have to have our work tablets on us on the airplane because it has our manual on it and all of our flight information and everything that we need. So it is a required item. noticed that they were having some sort of issue with their computer system. I'm not exactly sure what the issue was, but it was big enough that we had to turn around and go back to the gate and the mechanics had to come check it out. So we were delayed about 30 to 45 minutes there. And then just from the extra time of taxiing out and back in and getting everything situated, we ended up being an hour and 25, 30 minutes late. So anyways, we are now in DC. They are re-catering the plane for our next flight and the cleaner should be on soon, and then we will be off on our way to Chicago. Everybody meet my crew member, Kristen. She is so nice. We had so much fun working together. We just landed in Chicago, and I can already tell it is so much colder here, but we're all gonna go out as a crew, and it's gonna be a really fun day. <laughs> Just got to my room in Chicago. There's a desk right here. Looks like a little closet right here. And I love when hotel rooms have both a fridge and a microwave. It is just the best. And then through here, there's the bed. And through here is the bathroom. So it's just a pretty cute little hotel room. And let's check out the view. Oh, I do not actually have a view. <laughs> Both flights I had today were super turbulent. We had to prepare for landing early on both of them. So I'm really glad that we were able to make it here safe and sound. I am about to go meet up with some of my crew members downstairs and we're gonna go explore Christmas market and downtown. I did not pack well enough for this weather though. It is so cold out. I didn't bring a scarf, a hat, or gloves, which was pretty dumb of me considering I knew it was gonna be really cold. My crew is saving me. One of my crew members is letting me borrow some earmuffs and another crew member had an extra pair of gloves that she's letting me borrow so hopefully that will all help and i also have on two long sleeve shirts and i'm about to put on my big jacket because i think it's about 20 degrees out yep it is 24 degrees out but at least it's sunny so hopefully that'll help so it doesn't feel as cold 
All right, so I am all bundled up and ready to go explore downtown Chicago. We're now walking to the Christmas market and you guys, this is the kind of cold that it like feels like it's biting your face. Like it stings because it's so cold. But I really love this downtown area. It is so cute. This is Patty and this is Joni. And you guys used to buddy bid together, right? That is so cool. So I'm hanging out with Joni and Patty. They are two flight attendants and they used to buddy bid together and fly together all the time, which I just think is so fun. So this is my first time walking through a Christmas market and it is so adorable. I absolutely love this. It is definitely putting me in the holiday spirit. to stop and get some hot apple cider because it is so flipping cold out here. It's Christmas time. Let us all come together. It is absolutely freezing outside. I had to find an indoor store, so I am looking at ornaments and they are really pretty. Let your love keep shining and for always be remembered. I am trying so hard to warm up right now, but it is not going well. I can barely feel my toes. So it says here that in Germany, it's an old tradition to hide a pickle in the Christmas tree. And on Christmas day, the child who finds the pickle first gets an extra Christmas gift. So we, are leaving the Christmas market now and we are heading to Macy's? Is that where we're going? Yes. Okay, yeah, so we are going to Macy's where they have, what Patty is telling me, a beautiful Christmas display out. came inside Macy's and it is beautiful. It is decorated for Christmas and this is probably the biggest Macy's I have ever been in. We think there's about six to eight floors here. We came back to the hotel for a few minutes just to warm up and Patty and Joni went shopping so they wanted to drop some of their bags off but this hotel from five to six gives all of the guests a free glass of wine so I couldn't really pass that up and they also have crackers and cheese down here for us too. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting really comfortable sitting in the hotel drinking wine, eating crackers with cheese, but Patty said that I have to venture out one last time to go see the Magnificent Mile. I guess it's something that everyone has to see when they're in Chicago for the first time. So I'm gonna go check that out. We are walking along Michigan Avenue and Patty was telling me that you just keep walking down the street and there are a lot of awesome places to go shopping and you just cross and eat. <laughs> and you just cross over the bridge um, across the river. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size. I think I found the world's largest Starbucks. I think I heard from somewhere that they are opening it here in Chicago. So I'm pretty sure I just passed it. And so I'm gonna go check that out and then head back to the hotel because I am freezing. Pinky is mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stay. Okay, so I asked one of the workers and he told me that this, in fact, is the largest Starbucks in the world. So that's pretty cool that I kind of just stumbled upon it without even looking for it. Forming all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. 
The store itself is a few stories high. They have a gift shop area. I already tried a sample of the holiday blend coffee, so let's take a look around. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents. Oh, dang it. I wanted to stick my feet in a tub of hot water because they're freezing, but I totally forgot this hotel just has a shower. I'm back in my hotel room now, thawing out because I am seriously chilled to the bone. It was so cold out, but honestly, I was not properly dressed. Like, what I really needed to wear was leggings, jeans, thick socks, boots, two sweatshirts, and a big jacket with a hat and a scarf, and I probably would have felt a lot better. But also, I am the absolute biggest baby when it comes to cold weather. Anyways, I had so much fun exploring today. I really liked Chicago. Not that I was thinking that I wouldn't like it, but it is such a neat city and I liked it a lot more than I guess I thought I would. I am a little bummed that I didn't get to see the bean. It's basically this big structure downtown that looks like a giant bean and it's reflective, but I am just freezing. Like honestly, if we would have gotten here a little bit earlier in the day and if I had just a little bit more sunlight I definitely think I could have done it I'm going to try to pick up more layovers here though because I really did like this one and there's so much more of the city that I want to see especially over the summer I think it would be absolutely beautiful so if any of you are from Chicago or live here please let me know if you have any suggestions for things that I absolutely have to do for the next time that I'm here so I did end up getting an ornament at the Chris Kindle Christmas market that is a tongue twister and I love love the box that it came in. It is such pretty packaging. So this is kind of a weird place to show you guys this in the bathroom, but this is where the lighting is the best. So I really like the packaging of this Christmas ornament. I just think it is really pretty. This is the ornament itself, and I just think it's really pretty. I love how it's a suitcase and it says Chicago on it. Okay, you guys, so I think what I'm going to do now is eat dinner and call Eric and then probably conclude this vlog here. But make sure that you guys stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas and for the video after this one because it's going to be a continuation of this trip that I am currently on. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any of my travel tips and adventures. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Why we're gonna go and